ClickUp Project Management Tutorial 2023 Full In-Depth Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. ClickUp is a great software for you and we're going to be discussing in great depth on how you can utilize it fully to its you know best extent and how you're going to use it to basically organize all your work all your projects and basically ask people to do all of these uh, ask your workspace members to you know just work accordingly on a project management software and we all know that ClickUp is up there with you know the great project management softwares out there like you know you have uh trello you have uh you know all these other things like workload crm and all this stuff so we're going to be discussing ClickUp today in that retrospect and uh, it's going to be a pretty fun video so yeah just drop down a like subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's just get straight into the video now, first of all, obviously, you're going to come up to ClickUp.com. Now, once you're here in ClickUp.com, obviously, you're going to see all of this interface as so. So one app to replace them all, all your work in one place. Obviously, it has a pretty user friendly interface and good thing that you're watching this video, because while you're watching this video, you're probably witnessing the new ClickUp 3.0, which is like the new update that ClickUp has where, you know, the productivity is reimagined. And it's the next evolution of Trim productivity and collaboration in, you know, this generation. So unlock the next generation of productivity with infinite possibilities of ClickUp 3.0. Now, hopefully by the time you're done watching this video, it's already going to be here. So yeah, you're going to be pretty much, you know, stacked with the new stuff. Now you can also check all the details that they've given on ClickUp down here. You can check those if you want to. But what we're going to do is just going to head straight into, you know, the pricings. Okay. Now... The ClickUp pricings are, uh, you know, there's like, you could say five different discrete pricings, okay? And uh, I'm going to discuss all of them by the um, end of the video because they're equally as important as all the other features that we're going to be discussing because, like, if I were to give a rough overview, there's five different prices. There's the free, the unlimited plan, the business plan, the business plus plan, and the enterprise plan. Now, the free plan is obviously, as it says in the, in the name, totally free, no money required, and it gives you a lot of great features that come for free. Then, obviously, there's the unlimited plan, which should be around $5, okay, per member per month. And uh, there's, like, everything is unlimited in it. Like, all the things you get in free are just unlimited in the unlimited plan. Then, obviously, I guess there's the business and business plus plans, where which are respectively $12 and $19. And in those, you obviously get more and better features. But, yeah, you can check all that out later on in the video if you want to. Right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, you know, basically get started and sign ourselves in to, you know, this wonderful project management program. So, to do so we're going to enter our work email over here. Now, obviously, I'm going to be using a temp mail for this video, but uh, you're going to need to use a proper email because I'm only using a temp mail because I'm making a tutorial, clearly. But if you use a temp mail, do know this, that a temp mail is a totally disposable email and it can easily be lost out in the wild. So basically, all your creation and setup for an account will be gone to waste. So I recommend that you use a, you know, proper email. So I'm just going to, you know, there we go. So you're going to write your email over here as so, and you're going to click on get started. So once you click on get started, obviously it's going to take you to the whole signer process as so look at that. It loads you in and here we are. So first it's going to ask us for our full name. I'm going to put in my name. Now, once you put in your full name, choose a minimum password so i'm gonna go ahead and choose a password for myself that i think seems strong and once you've chosen a strong password here they're gonna say play with ClickUp." So that basically means sign up and once you've signed up here you go so let's go we just emailed you please enter the code we emailed you and this is obviously the email code and you know the confirmation code just write it accordingly so here you have it 7777 so 7777, there we go. Uh, we just entered our verification code. So here we are. Welcome, John Leahy. Our mission is to make you more productive. This will only take a minute. So we're going to go ahead and click on let's do this. Name your workspace. So you obviously have John Leahy's workspace as a default, but you could go with anything else. And don't worry about the name. You can always change it later. Like these 
are the type of settings that uh, are changeable later on in the video so or later on the processes so don't need to you know uh, stop your mind on these for you know too long now once you've discussed about that then comes your avatar okay customize your workspace avatar you can either drop an image okay it could be your profile picture or something like that or you can just keep your uh name profile picture as you know my name is john so it's going to give us a j profile picture and obviously accordingly you can uh, change these things over here so i'm going to keep it at uh, you know what let's keep it a purple once you keep it a purple here, you're going to say, I'm happy so far. Choose your favorite color theme. Now, the color theme is, as you can see, the whole coloring scheme of your Trello. So I guess a good coloring theme for a workspace would be, you know, uh, either a light blue or a dark blue. So I'm going to go with a dark blue and I'm going to click I'm happy so far. How many people will you be working with? OK, now this is the crucifix of the matter, because uh, this is where you're going to put in, obviously, the number of people you're going to work with. Now, this is important because it depends on how many people you have. Like, that's what the um, setting up depends on. Because if you have more people, it's going to give you more privileges and spaces to work around with. But if you have less people, obviously, it's going to give you the default workspace. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with 6 to 50. How do you want to start using ClickUp? I'll start using ClickUp for, you know, there's IT, there's sales and CRM you know all that but obviously we're going to be using it for project management so i'm going to go here and click on pmo which is your project management and note we'll use this to suggest templates that will help you get started now obviously uh i want project management template, so i'm going to keep it at that i'm going to click on next how did you hear about us now it could be tiktok youtube linkedin podcast uh billboard friend TV, Facebook, Instagram, search engine, others. So this doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with a friend or colleague. Invite people to your workspace. Okay. Now, again, this is one of the uh, non-compulsory settings. Okay. Uh, you have a choice if you want to put this in or if you not want to put this in. Okay. Totally depends on you. Now, uh, this is obviously to import your contacts into here. I'm not going to import anyone right now. We're going to discuss the setting later. Now, once you're over here, do you use any of these apps? OK, now this is obviously you can already tell for integration purposes. So first of all, you have Slack. OK, Slack, obviously a lot of workspaces use Slack to contact each other, to work around with each other's, you know, workspace and all that stuff. So again, you probably do use Slack if you're in a like a proper workspace. So adding Slack in would be the wise option. But again, if you don't want to add these right now, totally upon you, we can do this later. But you also have Zapier for your automations, Microsoft Teams for your work, Zoom for calls and communication, GitHub if you're like into an IT firm, you know, with all the coding programming stuff. You have Zendesk, Hangouts, Make, Sentry, Intercom, Discord, GitLab, all this stuff. I'm just going to go ahead. No, thanks. Not right now. Now, do you use any of these tools for project management? Now, obviously, it's given us all these tools that you could have, you know, potentially used for project management previously. Like, let's say you're migrating to ClickUp and, you know, you have your previous work stored in these places. So, you know, you have Asana, you have Basecamp, you have Trello, you have the Jira software, Monday.com, Rike, Excel, Todoist, etc. So you can import your tasks if you're migrating from one project management software to another. Uh, and that's a pretty good feature if you're migrating. If you're not migrating, just, you know, click on no thanks, go on ahead. Now, that's it. Now, go and change the world and don't forget to have fun. You know, those are nice message. Make sure that you've done everything properly. And once that is, you know, done, you're going to wait for it. Uh, as you can see, uh, please complete all required fields. Uh, now, if like you have an empty field, uh, just go on, check ahead if there's any empty field. I'm just going to go on. It's probably the email one. So if the email field is empty and it's it's doing issues, just go ahead and add some spam email of yours, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and add the spam email just for, you know, the trial purposes. And once you've done that, uh, you're going to add it. And there we go. Now, once that is done, we're going to head on down here and uh, 
once you head on down here this should be you know good to go so yeah now once you've you know chosen everything this is where we're gonna you know start doing the magic now once you're done with all the setting up and everything an interface like this should open now do uh let me tell you this i am using the ClickUp app okay now this is the desktop app you can also have this on your mobile phones or you know maybe uh, you can get this on your desktop as you know i have it right here and you know all that stuff so i have it as a desktop app you can use it as a you know uh, if you have a let's say if mobile phone ipad tablet all that stuff you can just use it as that okay if you want to totally depends on you now basically from here on out what you're gonna do like when you're into this interface this is gonna be basically your whole dashboard and everything so first of all there's the workspace okay so for workspace you're gonna come here in spaces and uh, obviously once you go in spaces uh wait let me go back in home okay you're gonna come here in spaces and uh, if you click on new space this is how you can create a workspace for yourself but let's say we don't want a workspace right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead to our settings now once your settings have opened up you know as you can see on the left side obviously over here uh you can switch your workspaces so if i click okay here you can see you can get all your settings and uh, obviously this is where you can switch your workspaces as well it's pretty easy to do that you can see your workspace see which workspace you're working in now i'm currently working in my you know workspace workspace so if i go here as you can see i'm in this workspace but i can switch back to my own workspace if i want to as you can see so this is my own workspace and you can like you know mess around with different things in your workspaces if you want to now let's say you want to import contacts to your workspace then to import contacts uh you can either go and invite users as so or you can just come up here go in your workspace and click on people now once you click on people you're going to come to a page like this where it's going to say manage people now to manage people obviously you can go ahead and invite users for yourself if you want to it's pretty you know easy pretty simple to do that and uh you can also search different users if you want to inviting them is pretty simple like just click on invite and uh oh, yeah wait you're gonna come here on your email address and once you come in or on your email address just write whoever's email address you have or you can also paste a csv over here as you can see it says csv accepted so paste a csv if you want to or you know just write multiple lines of email address and once you do that just click on invite and you can also choose if they're a member or an admin that obviously you you could say changes the permissions that the user is going to have when they come into the workspace so you're going to choose if they're a member in the admin put in their emails click on invite and once you know they are invited into the workspace from there on out uh yeah you're going to get all the users over here and it's pretty scrum work for there it's pretty easy now let's get to know our account so getting to know your account is a pretty important thing to work around with so let's say if i were to go back now this is my sidebar over here i'm going to collapse this and let's get familiarized with our account so um basically uh over here in the home section if you come here where i was previously when we landed over here obviously this is your home dashboard where you can you know see your calendar uh, this is where you're going to see your work assigned tasks and all that stuff. You can add lineups of tasks where you can add your important tasks in uh, this section over here. Then you obviously have the trending section where you can see your trending tasks. Then if you come here, here you can see all the work that, you know, it's to do or it's done or, you know, all that stuff. And it's going to show it all over here, which is tasked. Then obviously there is the notification section. Okay. And in the notification section here, you're going to get all the notifications regarding your uh, work space and all that stuff. And if you go and show more, here's your pulse. And your pulse is basically the, in your workspace, like um, it's going to give you analytics of when people are online and what work is being done, you know, in different times. So that is a pulse. And once we've discussed about pulse, then there's goals. Now, these are your goals for, you know, your workspace and everything. And these are also pretty important to keep track of as um, basically you can create goals, break them down into measurable targets and track progress in real time. So you can set a goal if you want to, but I'm just going to not go with that. Now, let's go and give our project a bit structure.
Now, obviously, we were talking about workspace. So to create a new workspace, what you can do is, you know, just come here. And as you can see, if you hover over this, you can see new space. Now, obviously, even if I don't explain this, you pretty much know what this means. So a new space means a new workspace. You're going to create a new workspace for yourself, for your workload members, for, you know, everyone that's working with you. So you're going to create a new space. So creating a new space is uh, pretty simple in my opinion, because like the ClickUp structure for like a project management is first of all, the workspace, the different spaces that come in the workspace, the lists and statuses, the tasks and columns and the subtasks. Now, all these features that I just told you, these are pretty important when it comes to click up the project management structure. So first of all, we're going to come here on dashboards and here we have a private dashboard for ourselves. So we're going to click on the plus icon and as you can see, it creates us a dashboard. So in the dashboard, as you can see, you can see different things. So get started with a dashboard template or create a custom dashboard to fit your exact needs. First, you have the simple dashboard. Now, the simple dashboard is like any other project management dashboard and you can use this template if you want to then you have the reporting dashboard obviously you can't get this on the free plan you're going to need at least the business plan for this but yeah once you get it you're going to be good to go and you have the time tracking dashboard this is also pretty useful because when it comes to time tracking you could say you have uh, real-time time tracking and you can basically track who's working in your workspace and who's not and all that stuff so again pretty great thing to have uh, on your you know business management project management stuff now obviously these are going to be your custom dashboards uh, because you're going to be using them as a template but if you really want to go with the long haul you can create your own custom dashboard down from here and creating your own custom dashboard is also pretty fun thing to have because once you create it by yourself it's you know everything you want but using a template for a simple dashboard also works wonders in my opinion and you can use this feature as well so all you're going to do is you're going to click on use template you're going to come here so you have dashboard template setup okay so uh, you're first of all going to choose the location i'm going to choose this space and i'm going to click on apply and as you can see i just created a full-fledged dashboard for myself and over here obviously people can uh talk to each other they can chat with each other and you know all the necessary stuff to you know run a proper project management software so you know all this stuff is pretty necessary for like the you could say ethics of a workspace management so i'm just you know gonna leave it at that then obviously you have documents down here so if you go on docs obviously you're probably wondering what docs is docs or you could say collaborative document spaces where you can, uh, you know, access these docs, create these docs to organize anything, add videos, lists, comments, and you can even create tasks within these docs if you want to. Now, I'm just, uh, you know, going to show you how to create a new doc. Now, you're going to come here, click on add new. And once you click on add new, you get this page opened up. Okay. Now, here you can basically create a doc for yourself. So let's say I'm going to create something called new document. I'm going to call it that now you're going to write something uh, under it if you want to so you can write this is a new document that i just created i am very excited and then you're just going to you know add exclamation marks and once you do that there you have it you have a new document as so so that's how you're going to create new documents and it's pretty easy and pretty simple. Now, let's go ahead and discuss about new actions. Okay, now you're probably wondering what new actions are. So for that, we're going to head on to our dashboard, go to our dashboard over here. And let's say we're going to create a task. So you want to come to the bottom right and click on create task. And let's discuss the new action features. So uh, the quick action features, you could say. So the quick actions are basically your commands that you write with slash. So as you can see, these are one of the types of quick actions you have. Now, those are one type. Now, if you come here on this widget right here in the top bottom right, right be beside tasks, you also have these things like track time, reminder, notepad, new doc, 
new whiteboard, calendar, and task tray. So these are also the quick actions. Like you don't have to go to the whole document section to create a new doc. You can just get them right here in your hands. Like in the bottom right, you're going to have it. And it's again, a pretty cool thing to have. And you can pin these items as well. So let's say if I were to click on pin item, uh, it's going to be pinned right here. So let's say if you want to quickly take a reminder for yourself, you can choose it right here. And then you can obviously go ahead and pin multiple things as so. So it's pretty, uh, you know, simple stuff, pretty basic stuff. And it's, you know, fun to use, fun to get behind. Now, once you've discussed that, let's go to the main matter. And that is creating a space or creating a project for ourselves. So we're going to click on new space. And here, first of all, we're going to add ourselves the space name, obviously. So let's go ahead and add a random space name. So I'm going to write John's new work space. I'm just going to call it that. And you can, you know, go with, with that. Or we also have templates. And let me tell you, templates are pretty useful as well. And as you can see, you can get project management templates and you have all other types of management templates as well, like agency management, marketing team, SEO project management. Again, this is also a pretty good thing to have by your site. SEO is search engine optimization. And if you want search engine optimization, you can use this uh, or you can just go, you know, with your basic uh, project management. You also have like agile scrum management and Kanban management. But um, obviously, I'm going to skip that part. You can also go with Agile Project Management. You can just come up here in the search bar and search for it if you want to. But uh, obviously, I'm going to skip that bit. And uh, I'm going to head on to this function over here. So obviously, again, create a new space. John I'm just going to call it John's Workspace. There we go. Click on Next. Now, first of all, we're going to choose the space or color of the avatar. So you can go with any one of these. OK, you have tons and tons of different colors to choose from. I'm going to go with dark blue and you can also choose your avatar. So I'm just going to go with this random thing and click on next. So share John's workspace. So first of all, you can, you know, share it to spaces can be shared with members. You can add guests to folders, lists and tasks after creating a proper space for yourself. Now, you can make this totally private which is, you know, going to be totally upon you, or you can share it for all the people in your workspace. So I'm going to go with that. And once you come here, which task statuses do you want? So obviously you have templates over here for custom content, Kanban, marketing, normal, scrum, you know, all that stuff. You can mess around with this if you want to, but I would just leave it as default and I'm not going to really do a lot with it. Then you have click apps. OK, click apps are basically, you know, all this stuff like priority tags, multiple assignees like, uh, you know, clicks you had down here. So basically one click and there's going to be quick actions and stuff. And you have, you know, more that you can enable. So again, I'm just going to keep that at default and not mess around with it. Now, once you're over here, basically these are default settings and uh, these are views that you can enable for yourself. So you if you want the calendar view, you can enable that. You could have the board view. You have a mind map, a Gantt table, uh, a normal table, a timeline activity, you know, enable whatever you want. And once you do that, review your workspace. And once you click on review, they're going to give you a short summary of what you have. And once you like it, just click on create it. And there you go. There's John's workspace. And if you click on it, look at that. Here is your workspace. And obviously you can keep on adding new workspaces to these things if you want to. But yeah. As you can see, here we are in John's workspace. Now, in John's workspace, as you can see, they've made a list. And in the list, you're basically going to start getting tags or, or tasks. OK, and these tasks are for obviously for your uh, workers to do so they can come here. They can see tasks. So let's say if you want to create a new task, you're going to come here on list setting, click on list, go on create new. And as you can see, you have task. So you can create a task as so from here if you want to. You can also create a whole new list if you want to. And obviously you have different settings like rename, copy link, add to favorites, move. You can move it to different boards if you want to. Then you have templates, which you can work around with. Again, pretty useful feature to have. Now, even over here, if you go on list settings, you can change things from here as well if you want to. Now, you can also add new lists to your workspace. If you go on over here, as you can see, you get all these options and not only lists, you can add a document, a whiteboard. You also have action plans. You can add folders. 
Uh, you can add something from a template if you want to, or you can also import stuff if you want to. So it's pretty basic and pretty, you know, easy to work with. Now, you can also add tasks, okay? And uh, to add tasks, let's say I'm going to come here and I'm going to add three tasks for myself. So I'm going to click on new task and I'm going to write make application. Okay, there's the first task. Now let's add an another task, code the program. Okay, let's add one more thing. So implement design. Let's just call it that. Okay, now enter. There we go. There are the three tasks that we just added. Okay, that's how you're going to add tasks for yourself. And as you saw, pretty easy. Now, once you've added tasks, let's go and, you know, add and manage columns for ourselves. So first of all, there's the assignee button and you can basically assign people tasks using this. So as you can see, if there's someone in your workspace, you can just assign them different tasks and uh, it's pretty easy. And then you're obviously going to change the due dates of the task. So let's say um, you want to set the due date to two days from now. So as you can see, you can set it to 29th. And as you can see, it starts giving you due dates. And you can also change the priority. It could be a low, normal, high, urgent. And this is obviously you choose this so you can let people know how quick you want the work. Okay. And further moving on, you have adding columns. Now you can add columns accordingly. Okay. It could be drop downs. Could be a text column, text area, date, progress, number, checkbox, email, files, formula, labels, location, money, people, phone, progress, rating, relationship, roll up, tasks, website, and all that stuff. You can also use the field from library in the bottom, as you can see. And uh, that's just to, you know, uh, make you more, let's say, um, efficient with your workspace members. Now, Let's go ahead and discuss on how you can edit your tasks. OK, now, once you want to edit your tasks, let's say we're just going to go ahead and click on my tasks. And once you click on the task, as you can see over here, you're going to get all this stuff. So first of all, let's say we have the make application. And over here, first of all, you have task settings as so. Now, this is your task settings over here. You can uh, add this to another list. You can convert it to, you know, list or subtask if you want to. Then you you can duplicate it if you want to send email to task merge and all this stuff. So, you know, different types of settings that you can mess around with. Then obviously uh, you have views on this task. You can see how many people have viewed this task, you know, just to know that, you know, in some cases in workspaces, people view the tasks and then they don't reply to it so this is one way you can know if someone's viewed the task and if they have you can like you know alert them that hey you saw the task but you're not doing anything about it why is that so you know it's a great thing to have the view setting then obviously uh you have uh, more stuff like uh, you can write a task detail over here mark it complete if you want to set priority over here you can add different subtasks, like let's say for make an application, you have to, you know, uh, go to the Microsoft Teams, gather the code, gather all the information, make a UML diagram, all that stuff. So, you know, you can create subtasks for one whole task. And once you're done with that, just click out of it and you're going to make, you know, uh, different features and stuff. Now, you can also enable features for yourself. Now, enabling features means the click app. So if I were to click over here. As you can see, this is the click app section. Now, once you click on click apps, you're going to come here. OK, now in click apps, basically, you're going to see all these features. Now, first of all, there's the AI. OK, now the AI is a brand new feature that ClickUp has just introduced because obviously we know how much AI is in nowadays, how many people have been using it and stuff. So the AI is a new feature that ClickUp provides you. And as you can see, enable to allow your workspace members to use AI features. If you enable, you are agreeing to these terms and conditions. So you can enable that and you can ask it, you know, anything. So as you can see, what can I help you with? Ask it anything, ask it to do anything, ask it for anything, and it's going to do for you. And then you have obviously have automations. Choose from a library of automations or create your own to automate manual and repetitive tasks. Then you have screen recording, collaborative editing, comment reactions, custom fields, custom task IDs, dashboards and all that. So these are click apps and you have more things like Giphy and stuff and click apps. You could say are different features that you can do to make your work easier, make your uh, features more efficient. Make your workspace members more comfortable in the working environment. 
And as you can see, you have time estimates, time tracking, all these things that are pretty efficient when it comes to, you know, your workspace. Now, I'm going to head back. And uh, obviously, as we know, click apps work great with your tasks as you can, you know, uh, increase the, as I said, comfortability in your workspace with your members. Now, let's go ahead and talk about managing statuses. Now, to manage your status, first of all, let's say we have this over here. Now in your group options, you're going to go in new status and you can change your status for yourself. So status name could be, let's say I'm going to call it online or urgent or something like that. I don't know, but you get the point. Change the status as you can see. Now you can also edit the status logo by, you know, changing uh, the colors and stuff. You can also add new status if you want to. So I'm going to call this urgent, let's say, and I'm going to make it like red so there we have it and uh, once you've done that click on save so look at that now you have an urgent task so these are to do and you can shift these shift the urgent task in urgent if you want to so as you can see the make application is now an urgent one and like you could change this from online to you know final review or maybe done or doing or you know in progress all that stuff so you know mess around with the necessities of all of this so pretty pretty useful stuff now obviously once you've discussed all that obviously you can uh, change the you could say status from here as well if you want to uh, i'm just gonna undo that and you can also change the colors you can take it to complete let's say we have a complete status so it's just gonna move into complete i'm gonna undo that bring it back in urgent and there we have it and again moving tasks is really easy just drag them bring them under one task and look at that again drag them bring them under this one there you go drag this bring it under you know to do i'm gonna drag this bring it under urgent as so and it's pretty easy now let's discuss about the view options now you have a few different view options so you have the list board calendar gantt all that stuff so first of all let's go on board now once you go on board as you can see this is the board view and this is more famous in you know places like trello and stuff this is known as the kanban view the board view the main view that most people use and these are you know great views again you can use these to spread these around as so and as you can see pretty easy stuff then if you go on calendar okay this is where you can see the fun stuff happens because in the calendar you can see the dates and again move these so let's say you want to move this to this so this is best for dates. Then you have the Gantt chart. Gantt chart uh, is obviously great for progress tracking as so. And it's like a big chart. And you can see like the multiple tasks that you have across this chart. So again, pretty useful uh, view to use for yourself. And uh, I'd recommend using this for, you know, your workspace quite often. Because uh, as I said, works wonders, works great. And uh, again, the comfortability for your workspace members and your team members it's going to be off the charts when you use this stuff and you have the activity okay this is your analytics where you can see the activity going on in your you could say workspace project management space and all that stuff so just go over here and see all these things if you want to now let's finally discuss about automations okay now automations if you don't know what those are Basically, it's when one action or one trigger basically triggers another action. So let's say if I were to buy something from, you know, let's say Nike. Okay, uh, Nike has an online store. Let's say if I buy, buy a product from the Nike's online store, they're going to send me an email immediately in my Gmail. Okay, now that doesn't mean that if I like buy something, there's some, you know, employee sitting at the back of the computer just waiting for someone to buy something so they can immediately email something to them. No, that's not the case because, you know, that would just drain the person. They would be sitting there for hours and hours waiting for something. And, you know, a lot of people buy from Nike. So it's not a person. It's an automated bot. So what the automated bot does is basically you give it two tasks to, you know, work with each other. And what's going to happen is when one task happens, it acts, it acts as a trigger for the other task. So the trigger in this case was me buying the product from Nike store and the action that the trigger, you know, triggered was the email that was sent to me. Now for automations, we're going to come to automate as so, 
and once you're in automate obviously it's you're going to click on add automation and as you can see you get two different things so when this happens and then do this action so when this happens let's say uh, a status changes from um, active okay you're going to change it from a st when a status changes from urgent to online okay when a status changes from urgent to online what you're going to do is uh, let's say create a task task name new task for test okay we're just going to call it that and we're just going to you know select random list uh, i'm going to choose john's workspace in this list we don't need a template and i'm just going to click on create and there you go an automation has been created so there's the automation and you can also like uh, have uh, templates for automations if you want to okay those templates can be found here and you can also add more uh, like uh, actions to the automations do know this and that's like a pretty useful and knowledgeable thing to know it's a great feature to have you know multiple actions in your automations so let's go ahead and test our automation okay now I'm gonna go to the list okay and I said when it changes from urgent to online you know change it so obviously go to board and change it from urgent to online okay now once it's changed from urgent to online what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to list and look at that new task for test has been created so yeah that is basically what your automation is and it's like very helpful it's really helpful and i can't emphasize on it enough on how helpful it is when it comes to your project management like you're not gonna have to do everything on your own and you know just automate some stuff for ease of work but yeah that's basically it for this video uh if you enjoyed it please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.